So, uh, this week, as far as numbers are concerned, it's pretty much the same as, ha as it has been uh, again. Uh, the club hasn't really seen any kind of growth or decline since Christmas when we got a couple or more of the ladies on. Uh, so it's everything's kind of the same, it's not really moved anywhere. Um, but hopefully, if we try new things, it might still uh, it might continue to grow. Yeah. And there are a bunch of different ways of growing it, so I'm sure it will still develop over time. Apparently, when it comes to seniors, because it is our lowest one, we have like one or two people turn up there. Um, <clears throat> apparently, uh, that's kind of an issue everywhere at the moment. Senior classes are just on a general decline across all martial art clubs uh, at the moment, so not too much you can do about things like that. But, um, uh, we had like a sort of team meeting after we'd finished teaching all the classes as well. The the guy is basically like the, the head sort of club owner came over this time to sort of just watch what we're doing. Uh, and he was, you know, he was happy with what we were doing, just, just sort of pointing out various little things we can do to tweak and improve it. Uh, one of the things that I've sort of been thinking about recently, especially today, and it kind of got brought up is sort of like, with the kickboxing, we, it's a bit different than a normal martial art class. It's basically just sort of lots of line outs. So a lot of the time I'm just kind of holding the pad for them to hit it, do various drills like that. And um, I've been working on trying to get better at encouraging them, and I think I have, and just trying to let them know they're doing a good job. But um, one thing that I need to start looking at more is correcting the mistakes that they make. Sort of improving their technical sort of ability. I mean there are some that have really good technical ability, they do the motions really nice, they have say they do, do a hook punch, they have a nice horizontal forearm, they don't have their elbow down here when they're trying to punch like this but they don't have much power. And then you have ones that have really like sloppy techniques or like just flail the punches in. Or like they'll, they'll punch like this, but the, the fist will be like wonky like this, and they'll, you know, if they hit anything that's actually solid, they do the wrist in and stuff like that. And so I need to start getting on their case and like trying to correct them every time they do it. Uh, I think part of the reason that I've not been doing it as much as I should is just because I have done it a couple of times before with some of them. And I'll tell them to do it, and then they'll do it again, and it'll just be the same as it was before. And I might try like a second time, and they still don't actually change it. They keep doing it the way they were doing it before. And it kind of feels a bit like a sort of wasted effort. They're not actually taking the uh, advice in, and they're just kind of just hitting it in a sort of random, instinctive way, rather than trying to break down what the motion of what they're doing and trying to refine it. Um, but I guess they're there for different motivation than sort of a standard martial art thing. If you go to a martial arts club you want to get good at martial arts. If it's a fit if it's like a kickboxing thing, it's promoted as a fitness thing towards people who want to improve their fitness or like slim down and whatnot or just hit pads. They're just gonna be focused on just hitting it, you know, just stress relief, just whacking something, so their focus might not necessarily be as much on trying to refine their technique, but um, even then I sh still shouldn't probably, probably still shouldn't uh, allow my sort of emotional feeling about it feeling like a wasted effort to stop me from getting on their case every time, and uh, just uh, trying to correct everything that they do 
hopefully eventually it should actually produce results and they should actually get better um, so I think one thing I would say as an overall thing that I've learned sort of today and recently it's sort of like if you look back if I look back at, and you know a lot of people's reasons for not doing things that are quite ambitious is because they don't feel like they're ready for it and I didn't really feel like I was ready for this when I started it either but um, I had the idea that I'd be able to learn on the go and improve as I went on and that's kind of definitely turned out to be true when I think about it now so you know if you don't think that if you think like you have to wait a while to start something that you want to do because you don't feel like you're good enough just yet it's not really a proper reason to not do something the best way to learn anything is to just do it so I think that that's definitely true I found that to be true and I want to kind of utilize that in other things as well stuff that I don't feel like I am ready for but really I know that I will get better and it doesn't even matter that much so yeah uh, one thing that I do want to try and get better at or try more next time or do differently or, or yeah is to try and come up with some of my own combo ideas for the drills that we do in the kickboxing classes you know, just come up with a, a couple of them that seem quite fun and interesting and um, also just dem demonstrate for them in the class just some of like my own unique I don't know skills or preferred techniques or whatever you know within the club I go to I'm quite well known for my uh, kicking sort of ability I guess I don't know I'm not trying to brag about it but I am pretty good at kicking very hard so I've got very powerful kicks and uh, I'm, um, I think my punching is pretty decent as well but I, I do like breaking down the mechanics of power and trying to figure out how to get maximum force out of minimum effort or to more efficiently utilize all the force you put into something so I've like especially like this big run up side kick I can really hit people very hard with that one and stupid dogs outside <laughs> um, yeah but like, demonstrating stuff like that you know, it would be quite funny to just kick someone across the room with it and it would be good for them to see that to see that kind of potential ability and um, it'd be good I think Uh, so outside of the club, uh, uh, I'm having the whole venue issue with the club. I knew it would, I knew from the start it would be probably one of the most awkward and difficult things, and uh, it is turning out to be like that. It's uh, you know half the things I've looked at, half the places I've looked at aren't even suited for things that are just like party venues and weddings and stuff um, other ones I've looked at I'm not even sure if they're available or if they're the right sort of thing to host a martial art club and stuff I've tried to contact a few and I'm still waiting on that um, and then there's like Uh, I'll just have to. I'm just trying to make a spreadsheet, get the the time available times for the ones for different venues and like the cost per hour, and I'm gonna compare everything that I can find and just uh, see which ones are the best value. I'm trying to go for them, and then I'll figure out what uh, what I'd need to uh, to break even. So like, say if I if the if I charge like five quid an hour per student and it was like 25 quid per hour for the room I'd need five students per class 
figure out all those kind of numbers. Then it gives me like targets to aim for and stuff like that. But yes, that's where I'm at with that. Uh, I started a new audio book as well recently. Uh, it's called Life Leverage. I'm only at the start of it, but um, uh, it's it's very really, it's good so far. It's quite entertaining. It's got some good humour just randomly slotted in there. Um, but it, I'm definitely enjoying listening to it, and it uh, seems like it's got some uh, really interesting ideas and stuff in it about how to just get the most out of the time you have, not waste too much time on stuff that uh, can be delegated or like outsourced to other people and stuff like that. So uh, I think it'll be very useful information. Uh, Other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this week. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about the future in some ways. I feel like I'm, I'm on a good learning slope. Like there's always more to learn, and uh, things can, as if you're in that mindset of there's always more to learn, it's like a growth mindset. So it's sort of like things can only get better, <laughs> like positivity type thing. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week, so see you next time.